is measles. Hi, my name is Shaboma Nasrin. I am here to present the seminar on the topic immunization. It is mandatory to get the awareness of immunization. Immunization is the most effective way of protecting the human body from the infectious disease. Immunization is the process by which an individual's immune system becomes fortified by vaccine against an agent. Immunization programs are an integral and important part of the health activities of every country in the world. Now we can discuss immunization. Immunization is the process whereby a person is made immune or resistant to an infectious disease, typically by the administration of a vaccine. Vaccine stimulates the body's subsequent infection. The immunization schedule or the vaccination chart. First, we have to give at the birth. First vaccine we are giving is at the birth and the vaccines given are BCG, OPV and uh, Hep D. So we can prevent disease like TB disease, polio disease and hepatitis B disease. The next vaccine we are giving is in the sixth week uh, that is the vaccines are Hep D, OPV, ECV and rotavirus. The disease controlled are Hepatitis B, diphtheria, tetanus, whooping cough, polio. Next vaccine we have to give after 10th week. Okay, after the 10th week we have to give Hepatitis B, OPV, ECV and rotavirus. Uh, which is same like in the 6th week. Okay, Hepatitis B, diphtheria, tetanus, whooping cough and polio. Then after 14 weeks we have to give Hep B, OPV and PCV and the disease control are diphtheria, whooping cough, hepatitis B and hip. During the ninth month we have to give vaccine for measles and OPV that we can control the disease like measles and polio and in the 15th month we have to give MMR, varicella and PCV and the disease controlled are measles, mumps, rubella, chicken box. Then after 18th month we have to give the vaccine like OPV and DTP. Uh, this can be controlled disease like uh, diphtheria, tetanus and whooping. Uh, at 2 years we are giving uh, the vaccine for typhoid. And at 5 years we have to give the uh, vaccine like uh, DTAP, MMR and varicella to control disease like diphtheria, mumps, measles and chicken pox as well. Now at the 10th year or after 10 years we have to give DDAP, TDAP, HPV. That we can control disease like diphtheria, tetanus, and hep A. And at last, we have to give a uh, last vaccine uh, that will be in between 13 and 18 years. Majority is given in 15 years. Uh, the vaccine is rubella polio. Now, we can discuss about vaccination. Vaccination is done by professionals by free of course at various places like hospitals, CHC, PHC centers, Anganawadi and places are scheduled as national immunization program. Now we can discuss the common side effects of immunization. There will be fever for one to two days after the shoot and another side effect is that soreness and redness uh, in the injection, uh, injection site. Even though these side effects are very common, we should take care of it properly. Uh, the first thing we have to do is we can give anti-fever medicines. Uh, the next thing is we can avoid tight clothes. Then give uh, the child plenty of water. Apply a cold press at the cold press at the site of injection. Then do not wrap the child in a blanket. Now I will show you some pictures that what will happen to the baby if we refuse to give immunization or vaccine. This is the picture of a baby who is infected by polio disease. And this is the uh, model of tetanus disease. See, like this we will have rubella. The disease rubella will be like this. This is measles, the baby infected by measles. So this is mumps. Hope all know that this is mumps. And this is chicken box. So, immunization is the process of improving the resistance power of the body by vaccine to fight against infectious disease that spread one person to another very quickly. 
hope that the topic immunization is clear to everyone and um, it's my wish that everyone should take proper vaccine at proper time. Thank you.